Hey everyone and welcome to Night at the Improv. Night at the Improv shows every Saturday night 10 p.m. Eastern Time. It's the show where you direct my design and after spinning our word for tonight is money given to us by Conjure Up Nails. Thank you so much Conjure Up Nails for our word for tonight, money. If you would like to direct me to do a design, leave a comment below your word and I'll add it to the spinner and who knows, maybe next episode your word will be chosen. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So for tonight, um, I decided that I wanted to try out uh, these paint gels with the silicone wand here. And this took a, a amount of layers. I really don't know. Um, how this is done really but that blush look uh that's been rolling around on on uh instagram so i'm just <laughs> trying to do that now but uh for today's uh theme for money i was like well i'm not gonna print out money and i'm not gonna destroy any so there will be no encapsulation tonight um, what I decided to do is take the three types of currency that's out there and uh, kind of do like an abstract maybe. I don't know. That was the intent. So um, I picked uh, three of them. The dollar, the euro, and the pound. So after our first spin, our first required decoration for the night is going to be charms, which kind of threw off my original design. I thought maybe there would be some art doing like uh, the bills, the notes, the money notes onto these nails. So um, I guess this kind of simplifies it, which I thought would be easy, but it's not. So. <laughs> So what I decided to do, I'm using some solid uh, builder gel, and I am shaping up a dollar sign right now. Of course, I'm going to be doing the euro and the pound as well. Um, this was my first go at it, and I've seen the like snake designs uh, on Instagram too, so uh, I was like, oh, okay, this is technically my take on it, except it's going to be a charm, and it's going to be in a shape of a dollar sign and not a snake. <laughs> Um, it's really hard to shape and make it look nice and smooth. I thought it was going to be really nice and it, it's just really difficult. And then, of course, I had to make the, the line down the middle of the dollar sign and I kind of screwed that up. But taking this builder gel and, or solid, uh, solid gel, solid bil builder gel, however you call it, um, shaping it up, I'm going to cure this and then I'm going to go in and do the, the line down the middle. So what I did with the other two that I didn't do with the first one, because of course, first pancake, you always mess that one up first, right? <laughs> but, um, I did the line and I put the dollar, the S on top of the line, which made it look squishy and not nice I should have done it on, like underneath the line underneath um, and you'll see what I'm talking about once we get some color on here because this is clear solid gel and you can't really see what's going on but yeah so for the euro and then of course for the pound I did end up using um, making the the lines on the euro symbol there's two lines in the middle and I ended up putting them behind um, the C. I think it's a C. I really don't know what these symbols mean, to be honest. I probably should be giving you facts. You know, me and my facts, I like to give facts out there, but, um, yeah. Well, okay, maybe I should do that, because I don't want to sound silly. Hold on. Okay, so the symbol for the euro is this C with two lines. It's based on the Greek letter epsilon, so I guess an E. With the first letter in the word Europe and with the two parallel lines signifying stability. Okay, the ISO code for the euro is EUR. 
This is used when referring to euro amounts without using a symbol. Okay. So let's see, symbol for US dollar. Now the symbol uh, for the dollar, usually written before the numeric amount, is used for the US dollar. Um, it really doesn't say why that came about. Um, hmm. Well, the hardest one to do is the, uh, the pound. Pound sterling, they call it. Um, the British pound sterling is symbolized by the pound sign and is sometimes referred to as sterling or by the nickname quid. It's so confusing when I listen to people talk about uh, currency in the UK because there's like multiple words for one. But I guess that would be the same as saying dollar and buck. Um... I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm pretty sure that there's uh, many references to the dollar, U.S. dollar. But this was hard to make because I had to shape this stuff up. And if you remember in my unboxing live when I unboxed this solid gel, it was sunny outside and it was curing everything that I was opening. So there was a, a thick layer that I removed off my solid uh, gel and there might be some remnants when I'm grabbing some of it at any rate. All right, so this is a bit long, this, uh, sec uh, this first spin. And of course, for charms, you gotta attach the magnets. I didn't wanna, I guess I could have gone the full y uh, nine, I don't even really know what I'm saying, and um, color up the magnets so it matches the background, but I didn't. But anyway, this is fairly easy now with my uh, magical uh, UV wand to cure things when I need it to be like, you know, on site and not under a lamp. Um, I kind of messed this up. I picked specific colors like this green here that I wanted as the charm and um, I ended up covering it. So I don't, I don't know what was going on in my head. Because uh, when you look at these um, notes for each, the, the US, the Euro and the pounds, there's, um, you know, there's different colors for the letters and all this jazz. And I, I was like, okay, so that's why I'm picking it. But as I was doing it, I was like, why am I doing this again? Like, did I mean to do this? So I'm chroming everything now. <laughs> when I was like, oh, wait, like on a dollar bill, the numbers are a bit darker than the ink on the rest of the note. So same thing with the euro and the pound, that the symbols or numbers are of a darker shade of color than the rest. So I just don't know, but I think it works out because here I'm using, you know, purple, but for the pound, I ended up using like an, a paint gel that was really transparent. So that would not have gone well with my scheme. It's just the label, the sticker labels um, and my swatch that I did on there looked a lot darker than what I thought it would be, but probably because I did a bunch of layers and laid it on thick. So I think it would have worked out with just the paint gels if I just had layered it up, but look how transparent that is. I would have sat there forever trying to make this thing dark. So I guess it didn't hurt to put the chrome over it. I just lost all the pretty colors that I picked out specifically for this design. If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out and I greatly appreciate your support. And, uh, you know, before I forget to mention, I'd like to um, welcome you all back tonight at the Improv. Every time I do mystery boxes, you know, I do my dailies the whole month, so it takes up most of my programming but i'm really excited and happy to be back doing night at the improv and have you here watch and you know have you watched me uh squirm <laughs> so i don't know but it's still fun i love doing this episode of uh, this series
And after our second spin, our next required decoration for tonight is going to be French stickers. Oh, these French stickers. They always put a damper in my designs. I've been getting them a lot lately, and I'm not about this live, but I have to do it. So I'm ruining the design I just put on my nail. <laughs> it seems like the decorations are ruining what I've been wanting to do. Anyway, I just showed you the new Chrome 2-in-1 Top Coat by Varnail. It's new on their website, and it's amazing. So Varnail um, products... Uh, Blah. They they plot. I'm still thinking like I'm working right now. They don't plot. They cure um, as a no wipe, so you can put chrome like I did. Um, but there are a few spots that was the white background. I think that white background was Roslyn. I think it was Roslyn. I could be wrong. No, it was McCart, and that is not. And, uh, like it doesn't want to stick to that so I put the two-in-one chrome top coat on just the areas that um, that were white and I put the uh, green chrome powder on top of it and you know what you guys I'm noticing that the top a uh, two-in-one top chrome uh, top coat oh my gosh I can't even say it right is way better than just leaving it on the Varnail polishes because it gives that extra shine. If you saw back in that close up, you can tell which part was the, you know, it's rainier. The two in one chrome top coat will, um, says that there will not be any grainy, graininess to your application. Now, for these last two, it was, um, fortunately more, uh, Varnail polish than the white uh, McCart polish, so it's just stuck on there. I didn't need to add the chrome, the two in one chrome top coat. But anyway, I definitely would recommend that two in one chrome top coat because I am um, receiving one of their new items, which is a bunch of chrome powders, and you're not gonna want to miss that. It's really good stuff. You're going to want it. If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out, and I greatly appreciate your support. And after our final spin, our third and last required decoration for tonight is going to be flocking powder. And all I can say is flock me. <laughs> like for real. Because we already Frenched. And I have this beautiful chrome powder. Like just, you know, undulating down the tip. What the heck am I going to do with flocking powder? And I haven't used flocking powder in quite some time, I think. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to French the French. We're going to double French or square the French. But anyway, I am putting um, the, I think it's base. It might be top coat. Either one. Um, like halfway down that tip there in an angle, straight line. So we get that textural and, you know, layer difference, which I really like. So you get the little undulating wave of the chrome powder tip, and then you get that nice, cute, fuzzy tip at the very end, <laughs> like a little tail. No, so I thought, you know what, that's, that's it. Like, it, I... I I was thinking about some artwork and that's not even gonna work with the charms like this whole idea and I think the last time I did a night at the improv episode like the same thing happened where I had this really brilliant idea and it was just destroyed by <laughs> the damn wheel but anyway so I'm just gonna have to work with this and I think it looks okay at the end so we'll see I think the charms need a lot of help, but, <laughs> but overall, um, I think it looked good. So we'll, we'll see what it looks like in the end there. But I'm really glad that my stock 
of inventory has allowed me to do these three different colors in the same like material like I was I have paint gels I have the chrome powders and I have the flocking powder in you know those three different color schemes to actually use and make it make sense for the design so you guys in the end comment below let me know what you think of it collectively um, I do love the textures and the colors together who knew I can fit regular gel polish chrome and flocking powder in one design and make it look nice if you're watching this far thank you so much for tuning in go ahead and click that like button it really helps my channel out and i greatly appreciate your support And here is the end result for our word for tonight, money, given to us by Conjure Up Nails. Thank you so much, Conjure Up Nails, for our word for tonight, money. If you would like to direct me to do a design, leave a comment below your word, and I'll add it to the spinner. And who knows, maybe next episode, your word will be chosen. And here is the USD. Comment below what is the largest note for the US dollar. Man, I totally ruined that charm. Oh, so upset with that. And here is the euro. Comment below what is the largest euro um yeah. <laughs> euro note. Um I think the colors for these might help you out too. I think. Can't remember. And last but not least, this is the pound sterling. Comment below what is their largest note for the pound sterling. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Night at the Improv every Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me again. I will be doing my craft videos, but I also will be doing my worldly Josieisms on Thursday. And then I will be doing another live. It's going to be a regularly scheduled program. And I should have those 24 um, chrome powders that I'm super excited to wait for. And then Saturday again, night at the improv. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.